Yeah. And what is your name? Marvin. 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 George are... Jefferson and what? Woohoo! <laughs> we are going on a carriage ride. Hi, King. Hi, Hi sweetie. He's probably one of the strongest horses we've got in the barn. Uh, is he a bird gunner, Jonathan Dick? Uh -huh. So King is a Pergeron. You are beautiful. And, uh, last year they yeah. him down there. When he come back up here, about uh, seven weeks more, they tried to put the harness on him, so they put the wrong collar on him. Oh no! So they threw the harness back on his shoulders. <gasps> and when he did, it spooked him. He threw his head back and broke it. Broke it. Oh my right gosh! And uh, he said, after he broke it, he said, "See what I can do." <laughs> <laughs> A piece of cake. Right. Wow. Right. Okay, King. Oh, yeah. Julie, you yeah. were talking about the little ones there over here against the tree over here behind. We go across the creek and do all right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, we do it all the time. It's not muddy and it's not swilled. Yeah. So there's nothing to worry about. We're no not problem. We're not worried at all. Well, a lot of these modern generations. Oh. Don't get me wrong. We're not. We are. Get, we are in the princess. In the princess uh, carriage. Look at this. And here we go. Woohoo, King. Here you go, King. Look at that big Persian. Most of them up here call it the cash shell. Uh, but I always call it the cash There you go. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Ready? Say hi to the camera. Oh. Hi, camera. We're off. Thank you. I'll just go out and carry free. Look at that big Persian. Oh, I could just sleep on this. Oh, yeah. Sorry, but... Back years ago, uh, Cape Coast was actually a hunting ground for the Cherokee Indians. Yep. So we're actually going back in time. Uh, it was actually reading that, it named after a Cherokee chief's daughter, Kate. And there's a main Cherokee camp down here at April Falls, which is a good and a half mile high. Yeah, we've oh, been yeah. there. Beautiful wow. image. Very it beautiful. Gorgeous. Uh, the reason why it's called a cove, it's circled on three sides of a mountain. And the uh, only way in and, uh, in and out at that time was uh, Laurel Creek, I mean, Rich Mountain Road. Right, Rich Mountain. Uh, or Rich Mountain uh, Parsons Ball. Branch. Yep. And a horse walked about three miles an hour. So if you went into Townsend or Maryville, went oh out my uh, gosh. Rich Mountain, it'd take you all day. Yeah. Wow. That'd be challenging. A little different than that today, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> all day trip. Here we go through the water. Cool. Yep. Really didn't get settled because when uh, the, uh, the settlers started coming over the mountain, the Indians kept pushing west. So, That's right. <laughs> get out of here. Exactly. Hey, this is my hunting ground or this is my land. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, uh, was. Wow. Look at how wow. pretty. This is a kind of job I need. I know, I need a job like this. Wow. I'd love to go over here today. I worked over here at the concessions over here for about 12, 13 years. Oh, wow. And then, uh, I semi-retired last year, and I wound up having to have surgery. My wife had to have surgery. Wow. And the guy that used to manage this place over here, he retired. And uh, so they had Marvin, how would you like to come back to work over here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I've tried for one year anyway. I think we have ridden horses for this concessionaire at just about every place that they have it. Mm -hmm. What was that park in Florida at uh, Wakiwa? Wakawa. Yeah, Springs. Yeah, they ship the there horses down for the winter. There. Yep. We rode out through there. And we saw black bear when we rode through there. That's Up the palm tree. tree. That, that, uh, that, 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 right here yeah, that's what I thought. And that's in And the one at Jonathan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now let's be rephrase that. Manage it. Now somebody else actually. Right. <laughs> manage it, yeah. Because uh, we'll see all these national parks, state parks, at least. 
Right. So whoever gets the lease, that's... Yeah, we were disappointed to find out that the uh, guy that had the bicycle lease before was not here anymore. The regulation that uh, it, 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 anybody that runs a business in the national park, they've got to be put up for bids. Right, it has to go out for uh, opening it. And that's good and bad. That's what I thought. Uh, it also served, I went down to John Oliver's cabin. Uh, John Oliver was the first permanent settler of Cage Cove. He came in here from North Carolina and about 150 miles away. He came wow. in here, uh, been 150 miles away, getting a late start. It was late summer of 18 and 18 time he came in here. Wow. So he had to start doing some hunting. And he, and he was not the best of hunters. He'd be gone two or three days and uh, come back with two or three squirrels. I think he's been his Indian friends more than he was, huh? <laughs> anyway, if you decide to walk up to that little house, if you decide to walk up that little house, it's about 200 yards up there. Yep. He raised seven children in that house. I know. The that boys slept upstairs, the girls slept downstairs. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. A little different than that now. Oh, we, yeah. You know, we're talking about the CCC. Mm hmm. They actually moved that house about foot from here to that opening right there down the holler, close to the uh, field. Close wow. To the field when it became a national park. They moved that house, so it sat farther back. Wow. wow. Okay, King, let's go. Because that's a pretty good walk from uh, the road back up to that cabin. A lot of people, like I said, they, the CCC got a good chance because they could be showing this back to a week and it goes. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. That part back, a lot of people. Ooh, Luffy. Yeah, horses Luffy. coming. We got horses coming. Mm -hmm. Come up, baby. Come up, baby. Yeah. Come on, baby. 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 Come a lot of people didn't realize it. <laughs> well, they, and just like everything else, if you don't tell people history, it's dead. They don't know oh, yeah, absolutely. Gone. Absolutely. All this stuff, if you don't write it down, Good morning. It's gone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome. Enjoy your ride. Absolutely. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How you guys doing? Good. Super good. Blue's doing a good job? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Blue's her alpha might go over here. Yeah. He's been sick but he puts up little hormones every now and then, so he thinks he's a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh, pretty, pretty, yeah. Pretty, pretty. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good horse. Well, I'm not supposed to run out right now. <laughs> 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 Good morning. 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 Good yeah, and uh, we, we got about six or eight down there right now. And what we do, we go take them out. And, uh, they need to break. We've got one horse. I, I would say she's been there about 27, 28 years old. Really? Wow. So, uh, we will uh, just use her part time when we get healed. Okay. And, uh, wow. She's like her little guy. She's like her young. <laughs> That's the easiest way to do it. Like I said, we got to keep them down there. That's where we carry them down the sun in the wintertime. Uh, yeah. Right now you're going back in time. This yeah. old road right through here back in 18 and 60, 750 people lived in here. And the main drag. Oh, wow. They had their own doctor. They had their own phone system. Yep. They had their own crank phone. Yep. They were seven operating grist mills and five stores in here. Yeah, man. We put them in a little place back then. <laughs> wow. I could live out here, that's for sure. Yeah. You can actually stop down here at the visitor center and watch corn being ground in the corn meal. I know, I've got corn from there. But I'll be honest with you, the corn meal you buy back there is actually ground in Gatlinburg. Really? Oh, really? For two reasons. Why? Number one, way too slow. Uh, uh, number two, tonight after everybody leaves here, coons, possums, rats, mice, squirrels. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Well, they do it for health reasons. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> Can't blame them for that, my I'll gosh. Tell you what, that cornmeal I bought, they made the best cornbread. Cornbread dressing. Here we go. 
I used to like put crack in some cornbread. Yeah? Crack and cornbread? Oh, you got that good. That's what like my dad likes. Crack and bread. A lot of these younger generations, you start talking about Cornbread, buttermilk. They have no clue. Uh, they, they won't touch no it or they don't know what it is. Right. But back when I was growing up, that, uh, we used to kill hogs all the time. Uh huh. And uh, weird, a lot of people now, we use canned sausage. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of people, when you start talking about canned, do what? <laughs> <laughs> but what they do is they cook it about three fourths of it done. Then put it in a jar, put about so much grease at the bottom of it, yep. turn it upside down. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that grease sealed it. That's it. Well, that's like God's asked my dad one time. He talked about uh, planting stuff, and I, he said, Oh, we can't do it today. we got to wait a day or two. The sign's just not right. Right. The sign's just not right. That's right. That's one day. I said, What's the sign's got to do with it? back in the 30s and that time to raise the family. He said they wasn't a grocery store. He said if you didn't grow it, you didn't eat. That's right. <laughs> if you didn't grow it, you didn't eat it. Look how pretty that is. I got a picture at him one time. He said he planted corn. One time he's alive to me. He said that stuff got the dead young tall. He couldn't hardly gather it. You know, That's right. Of course, back then you gathered it by hand. Yep. My grandmother was. Uh, we gathered ours this year by hand. Yeah, it was a little bit that we had, but we did good our first garden. Our first garden up here, and it was uh, very productive. Now, when you take that corn and that silk just begins to start dying, yep. Yep. that's when you uh, that's, that's when you get it to make uh, corn on cob. Yep. 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 When that silk dies a little harder, then that's when you get it uh, put it in the oven and uh, roast it. Roast it. Huh, we'll have to do that next year. Later yeah. third was a horse track right. Okay, okay. Yep. yeah, we, we went that way. About a mile and a half extra, yeah. We've never, we've been here so many times and ridden the horses, but we've never taken a carriage ride. Yeah, well, we're a lot older now, too. I so. to take a carriage ride. <laughs> I know, I did too, it's nice. Well, I'm going to say this. Every carriage driver you get is different. Really? Uh, looking, looking. I'm one of the kind of 1800s, early 1900s ago, of Tennessee, North Carolina, got together. They was actually talking about how many people actually come to the mountains. Mm -hmm. At that time, there was not a national park in the eastern United States. So they started doing fundraisers, taking up money, collections, anything that they could to start buying the land. Little River Lumber Company, which is down here in Townsend, right. and another lumber company was actually scalping the mountain with timber. The road you traveled on over here from Elkmont, going into Tremont, going into Townsend, was actually a railroad bed. Exactly, yeah, we've seen that. So, you actually go down here at Townsend, about a mile to the other side of the red light, and there's a train down there that you can climb aboard for free. I'll tell you where it's at if y'all want me to later. Yeah. But anyway, they kept doing fundraiser, taking up money, working, and uh, collections, anything it could to start purchasing the land. In the late 20s, President Franklin Roosevelt and Eleanor Circle, uh, circle through, uh, through the yeah. mountain. But when they got to Gatlinburg, they zipped right on through because he was a big party animal. They had a big party to go to in Knoxville. <laughs> so they didn't get the opportunity to say anything to him. Uh, Finally, John D. Rockefeller gave them $5 million. That was enough money to purchase and what is now oh Interstate 40, yeah. all the way to 129, what they call a tail of the dragon. 243 yeah, curves left mile. The motorcycle. Yeah. A half a million acres. Oh my God! Because yes. it was bought by the state, individual donations, and the stipulation John D. Rockefeller gave them. That's the reason why there's not an entry fee in this national park. That's right. So, if we want to have a picnic where these houses, churches, creek run, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. Only thing we ask of you is put trash for it. Belongs, Absolutely. And do not feed their wildlife. Uh oh. Right? Because a bear, just like me and you. Yep. Once they get a free meal, they want another. They want another <laughs> one. I know. We've, we've roughly got 800 square miles on the Tennessee side of the smoke. All right. We've got two bears per square mile, so we've got about 1,600 bears in here. Nice. Yeah, and I haven't seen a damn one in this time. <laughs> yeah, we usually Last see time them. Yeah, we saw probably 20 bears. Yeah. There'll be times you'll see them, and there'll be other times like, yeah, they're sweet. What are they at? <laughs> They're doing what bears do. Yep. Being a bear, this is one of the few places that, the reason why I love it, 
This is one of the few places you can actually come to and see a bear, deer, turkey, coyote in the wild. Yes. Yep. You know, they're not caged up. They're not dependent yeah. on humans. Yep. They are not. That's very few places you ever run across. And that's what people, you, are, you know, as soon as they see a bear, what do they do? They pull over, jump out of their car, and run over to it. Oh, how sweet. I, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, hello, people. Exactly. But you got all walks of life, though. Yes. It takes all kinds. Yes, it does. When I worked over here at the store, we've had people come over there. What time you turn the bears loose? Why not? Yeah. I was like, you know, the waterfalls. Water what, what time, time did you turn the waterfalls water water falls on? It's <laughs> crazy. I mean, people say that. They've been too many water parks. Yeah. Like, what? Yep. You mean you leave them run all night? They need to spend more time out in the woods. Hey, the first one I talked about last, we was over there, and I come in there, and somebody said, you know, what time did you turn the waterfalls on? I looked down at the water, and said, about 30 minutes ago. Time you get there, they'll be running full of <laughs> <place." laughs> I thought I was going to roll. Oh, God. Now, you gotta be serious. Y'all talking about hiking. Have you hiked over up to uh, Elijah Oliver's cabin? Oh, yeah. Yep. I love that over there. I'm telling you. Because you walk up there right behind the house, over at that spring house? Yes. We've seen deer right back there. That's, uh, they were just grazing away, not phased by anybody. Another place I love though too is over at Gatlinburg, mm -hmm. you know, where uh, the Rolling Park Motor Trail is. Yes, I love that. Grotto Falls. Yep. yep. I love that. We really? have been on every trail Except, here. Yep. Just about. Just we about. went to the top of Mount Lacan three times. Three times. The first time I was up there, uh, they, uh, they used to have a, lamp, a sign on the table up there, last one out, blow the lamp out. Right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. I've been up here on Gregory Ball and up here with uh, me and my wife, we carried up a uh, sub sandwich and each uh, ate a sub sandwich for dinner up there. All right. Uh, well, we're, well, we're sitting there on the, of course, we carried a little blanket to sit on. And hey, little old dog just come walk around through there and just... Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, the, that's the beautiful thing that yep. people don't understand is that these animals in here are not under pressure. They're not. Only from each other. Not from human pressure. Oh, I like the people that when they're hiking or driving and they're going really fast and then they say they, or they're noisy and then we they say, see we didn't see anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course you didn't. Oh, we had a guy come over to that cove over there one day to store. How long did you go around the cove? Oh, about an hour or two hours. <laughs> 11 miles? <laughs> <laughs> Lord, dude. I had one gentleman come over there, and he said, uh, where's the nearest phone from? He said, my company's trying to get a hold of I got to get a hold of my company. Well, you I better go down to the other side of the store over there. <laughs> and, uh, he literally run to the phone. Yeah. 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 When I've got the kids with me, I tell them a bear push that tree over. Uh, <laughs> but actually, what it is, if anything falls over here, we've got to let it go back to nature. Exactly. That's it, the way it should be. Yeah. You know, if it falls across the trail or across yeah, the road, you cut right. it. Uh, you know, yeah, we pick it up. I cut it up. That fertilizes the forest. Yeah. Regenerates everything. Exactly. These rocks, you see, piled up against the big rock here. Back years ago, we missed this farmland. Yeah. Uh, while the adults done the farming, the kids actually picked the rocks up. You're kidding. No. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Same thing you John Chef today is throwing a rock out of the garden or a limb out of the yard. <laughs> we just don't want to tear up our foot. No. You can actually stop down here at the visitor center, you go behind the visitor center over there. Across that little bridge right there at the fish mill, mm -hmm. you see the clouds, cultivators, corn planters, like they used to farm with here. Oh yeah, I know. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> I've uh, I've got some old tools like that from my grandfather. My daughter daughter bought a storage unit the other day. We went to stop by the house that we used to have here. Brenda bought a smoothing art. Whoa, oh, wow. Yeah. She had about three or four of them. Wow. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh yeah. You don't find them very much anymore in no. good shape. 
you find yeah, that's what I need. You may find it, but the handle broke on them. Yep. This is so beautiful and so peaceful. I wish I had still had my grandmother's old irons. She'd sit them on the uh, wood stove to get them hot. And then iron with them until they were too cool, she'd swap them out. Yep. Modern kid right you start talking stuff like that and they done lost her man. Man was like, what are you talking about? Hey, they're talking about the old phones we used to have when we uh, had the, the old crank phone. Yep. Either that or both the crank mug was up, they had the a uh, party, uh, party line. Party line, yeah. yeah that, I remember party, party line. line. One ring, two rings, three rings. A long, two short. Two short. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. You work for five to eight people on the same line. Yep. yep. People listening in, people waiting to call. <laughs> yeah. I remember my mom one time picking the phone up and Clarice Keats was still on the damn phone for two hours and she was like, Clarice, you need to get off the phone. I've got to make a phone call. Hey, the guy, he done that. Uh, he told his woman, he said, uh, Miss Gertie, I smell your beans burning. She said, Hold on, Madame, I got to go check my beans. <laughs> That's a good way to do it. <laughs> Go back to the water. Your phone don't reject the beans today. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Good job, buddy. Yeah, that's a part of you mean you had a, a, a cord on the phone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I seen something the other day that it's been a while since I've seen one. I walked in Walmart and they still a payphone. Oh yeah, you can't find those well, anywhere. Where, where did I see a payphone? Yeah, you yeah, don't I know, see you them mean, anywhere. Few and far between. I can remember when I used to be in the military over there. We used to have to carry uh, two dimes and a nickel and a quarter with it. Yep. That way, if you come run across something, you know, use a payphone. Yep. Good job, King. Good job. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Absolutely. Do you have any cash? I do. Oh, do yep, I already checked. Okay. Here comes the other one. A big carriage. Yep. Oh, look at the little guy. Look at that baby. That wasn't gonna fall. I'm gonna catch you just in case. Uh,